we're going on a road trip to go buy some meat buy some good meat some chicken maybe some cow leg i don't know this place is called hamza farms it's about a good half an hour away from here and that's nathan i have my food you will never guess what is in here. What is road trip without food? This is cookie corn. I have my coffee and we're gonna stop by and stop at a gas station, buy some gas and buy some treats for Nathan. Right Nathan? Alright, so let's go. Alright, so we're going to stop at the Shell gas station and get some gas, some snacks, and then we'll be on our way. Hamza Farms. I have placed my order. I ordered some fruit, some uh, beef, cow meat, and then guinea fowl. <laughs> we'll see how that looks like. I've never had guinea fowl before. Cameras were not allowed inside, but yes, Hamza Farms. Out in the middle of nowhere in Houston. Um, they have goats, they have ducks, they have rabbits, pigeon. What else? Lab or sheep, they do. Yeah. What are those dogs?
Bye bye, hums up harms. At the stop sign, turn right onto County Route 57. gonna wash everything and then put it away look at that call me French chunks so they give you all the different parts it's a mix of parts the filet mignon is not separated some with skin some with bone so this is oh I think this is a tail I don't know what that is. But this is meat as we would know it in Cameroon. That's fifty dollars, the fifty dollar portion. Okay. And then this is the the leka, the insides. Not sure what that is. Not sure what that is. Some of it still has hair on it. That's not good. No idea what that is. I was looking for the liver. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that part. So just gonna go ahead and wash and then cut it up into smaller pieces. Put the ziplock bags. I will actually separate the skin from the beef the meat itself because this skin is very tough I've separated the meat into three separate piles. Over here, we have the ones with the skin. These are the toughest to cook. Over here, I have the meat with, oh, well, I don't know why I have, this is the only piece of towel I have. But over here is the meat with bones. This will be great in okra soup. And then over here is the boneless meat. So it's three different piles, and I'm gonna put them in Ziploc bags and put in the fridge. My knife is not sharp enough to cut. I would have cut them into smaller pieces. But I will cut them up when it's time to cook. Well, skin. Good meat, the hundred dollar portion of good meat. Let's see what we have. the head see what we have in here this is yeah this is the head the liver this is the ear part of the head so you get a portion of something
This is a hundred dollars worth of goat meat. Uh, three Ziploc bags full. Separated them by parts, I guess. I tried my best. This one is very bony. And then this one has a lot of skin. And then this one is bony as well. And this is the part that has like the liver and tail hoofs and what else. So I think this is very expensive though, the goat meat for $100. And here is the guinea fowl. I'm suspecting this is Sinji in Limbo. I had the living hole so that I could really appreciate what it looks like. So this one here is $20 just for one guinea fowl. Probably going to make Kati Kati with it and see how it goes. So that's the fowl. Mm. They did give me the gizzard and the liver as well. Like I said, I'll make katsu katsu with the guinea fowl and see how it goes. Quite small. 